Hello everybody, this is Daniel with uh, Magic Solar Well Pumps. I wanted to show you one of my personal setups out of my ranch out here in West Texas. Um, I've got my valves open, excuse the sound of the water, I'm draining out of my 2,500 gallon poly tank here. Um, I'll show you my solar panels that I have. I'm running personally the same solar panels that I recommend to everybody from SantanSolar.com. Amazing company, great customer service. These are two of the 250 watt panels, 32 volts, wired in parallel. 500 watts runs the pump very well. Um, my pump is set at 135 foot down that six inch casing there. I've got a stainless steel cable you can see right here, tying it off as I recommend to everybody just for emergencies. Got a one inch line coming up the top here, going to the top of my tank. That's my inlet. This right here is where my float switch comes in, ties down into the control box right there. The control box is, I don't know if you can see that. RPMs are not, it's, it's at zero right now because the float switch hasn't triggered. Um, it's a perfectly sunny day out. I just opened the valves. So hopefully it'll turn on here a second. So I've got 0.4 amps being drawn. It's only 15 watts because all it's doing right now is running the control box. It has not turned on the pump yet. And 32.8 volts. As you can see, I've got a great sunny day. I'll be probably pumping really well here in just a second. And you can see off the bottom of my tank, this is a... A lot of people ask how I run for my cattle, for my livestock water. Um, I got that that pipe right there just goes to, to drain out eventually. That'll go to my pond area. Um, this one is going to a low pressure switch or low pressure float valve on the side of my tank. Excuse the water, a little bit murky right now. It's been really hot out. Go back over here. I'll show you how I made my solar panel mount while we're make, waiting for this to click on. As you can see, it's a two inch pipe. I actually just cut a couple foot off of it and use it for the T piece going across. And I have like a gigantic piece of like five inch angle aluminum, a spare piece of his head laying around. I use those exhaust brackets right there on top and on the other side, and you see the nuts there. Very easy to adjust this y'all. So if you just uh, loosen two of these nuts right here and one on the other side, you can tilt it, angle it, you know, of course in a, Winter time, the, the sun's gonna be more at the horizon where I'm at. In the summertime, it's straight up and down right now, so I usually have them pretty flat. Always pointing to the south, though. Uh, let me see if this is kicking on yet. Oh, look at that, just kicked on. We're running 3,100 RPMs. I've got it set for the default speed. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn off these valves here so we can see if we can hear it going. So the valves are now closed, all my water output is stopped. From 135 foot, takes about 45 seconds or so for the water to reach the top of my tank. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Vibrating up right now. And I get about four and a half gallons a minute at this. I wish I could open up the, I don't have a ladder with me. I get up at the top of that and show you the actual output. Let's see if you hear it. coming up the pipe. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Flowing good. Hopefully you can hear that on the audio. A very simple installation y'all. Sorry uh, I'm, I can't turn my phone around right now. I don't know why it's not flipping around. But uh you can watch the controller here, 2,700 RPMs. It will slow down a little bit just because of the weight of the column of water. When it first turns on, of course, you're gonna get max speed, but as that, that pressure builds up in that pipe, it's gonna slow down. So on a real good sunny day, 135 foot, I'll get 2,700 RPMs. It'll drop down at this, at this level where I've got my pump. If I, as long as it's spinning about 1,500 RPMs, I'll get some water out of it. It'll only be about half gallon, one gallon a minute, but that'll be pretty cloudy. But as you can see right now, perfectly sunny day. Sun's right overhead, almost high noon here. Panel's a little bit dirty. That's another thing, y'all, uh, keep your panels clean. Once in a while, get up there and spray them off. There's a little bit of dust on them right now, but uh, it keeps it running real, real efficient. And that's it, y'all. If y'all have any questions, give me a holler. I've got some in stock right now. If anybody needs one, they're ready to ship. Y'all have a good day.